Okay, so do-it-yourself solar panel project. Let me uh, show you what I've done so far. I'm starting the video probably a little later than I should have. Um, this is uh, going to be a 2.55 kilowatt system. And uh, it's costing me about $3,500 total. And then I live in Utah. So I get a 25% credit back from Utah State, and then everybody in the US gets a 30% credit back from the government. So this is gonna cost me under $1,000, roughly, to do. And I will save between 40 and $50 a month because it drops my utility usage. It won't cover everything, but it drops me into a different bracket, so I'm only paying just over eight cents a kilowatt. So let me show you what I've done so far. Uh, first you want to do is install the rails and I'll post links to what I've purchased um, I'm using a unirack style system the rails aren't unirack, but the these uh, um, L brackets are unirack the bolts are from Home Depot and The braces I made myself to splice it You can see that um, I'll probably go ahead and put some more bolts in. I'll probably do four bolts, uh, or they're self-tapping screws, really, but they uh, they make it nice and solid. Um, so anyway, you start with the rails, of course. It's uh, you do one of the L brackets into the trusses with a four-inch lag bolt. You do that every four feet, and then uh, the rails come. The rails I purchased come in eight-foot sections. So. On this top one, I'm putting seven panels up here and then three panels below it. So, so there's the top rails. On the end there, I didn't want it sticking out so far. It didn't quite make it four feet out. So I just put it, our trusses are 24 on center. So I just put another one on the next truss 24 inches out so it wasn't uh, hanging out so far. I wanted it to be supported on the end there. Um, I'm getting ready to finish these down here. So uh, I'm going to do uh, two, three foot sections to finish it up. There's only three panels here. That'll give me about 12 feet of rail, and I only need 10. So they'll, they'll stick out about a foot on each side, which is what you want. You don't want it to match up quite exactly when you're installing it. You can cut off the extras if you need to when you're done, but uh, which is probably what I'll end up doing, just so they're not sticking out. Um, you can see I messed up here. Don't do that. I measured it wrong and it was dark and wasn't paying attention so I put those two in the wrong spot they needed to be down another 22 inches so but uh, that's video number one of the project and how you can install solar yourself and have it pay for itself within a year and then you'll be saving money after that Pretty awesome with the incentives they have going on with the Utah State and the federal government. I'm sure every state has their own incentives. So make sure you take a look and see what your state has. Uh, just search your state and solar incentive and I'm sure you can find something on there. Not all states I'm sure will have something. But anyway, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, finish up these rails right here. And then I will start the grounding process to ground all the rails and I'll show you what I do when I get to that point. I'll be back. 